Hello, so uh, welcome to another video. So this time I'm going to talk about uh, this this book, which I consider to be a comfort book, and that is Chocolat by Joanne Harris. Um, okay, so when 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 I was reading this book, um, I was actually feeling somewhat stressed out. Okay, and uh, I was browsing my uh, my pile of uh, books, and I realized that most of them are uh, you know uh, most of the books that I have are about human suffering. <laughs> um, uh, there they are anguish, uh, people getting angry, people um, being mean towards one another. Apparently, that is kind of like the recurrent theme of the, you know, of 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 the books that I have, and I also learned that you know, light books, happy books, are kind of um, I wouldn't say rare <laughs> in my collection, but but I realized that I, I I probably need more happy books, and so I was glad to pick up this one. Um, I actually wanted to read this for uh, Book Buffet uh, 2021, uh, which was uh, a readathon that was organized, um, I think it was a couple of months ago, I can't remember which month. Um, so obviously, <laughs> my reading of this book was delayed, <laughs> um, but I'll have the information down below. It's already passed, by the way, but you know um, that was an interesting readathon. It was a uh, um, it was a readathon about uh, you know books uh, about food, uh, and so I think chocolate definitely qualifies. So um, what happens in chocolate? So um, in chocolate, we have this uh, this character named Vian Rocher. So the story takes place some somewhere in France. I think the time setting is somewhere uh, in in the twentieth century. Although I'm not exactly sure which decade, um, because this book does not really feel like it's um, it's very clear in terms of when the story takes place. So it's probably somewhere I would say mid. 20th century or so. Don't, you know, not really sure. Or maybe a bit later. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, this story takes place in France and we have this character named Vian Rocher who is a newcomer to this uh, um, in this town called uh, lanskenet Sultan. And uh, one, one day she arrives in this town with her daughter. And um, so this town is actually kind of like an isolated French town. It feels somewhat insular, and people there they have lived this life that is uh, the lives that are you know quite you know quiet and isolated. And um, some of some of the townspeople would uh, would you know we would later find out to exhibit a, a bit of prejudice towards outsiders. Um, so. Um, it made sense that when Vian Rocher arrives in this town, some people actually view her with um, with some suspicion. So uh, upon arriving in this town, Vian immediately sets up a shop uh, in which she sells chocolate because her specialty is making chocolate. And um, as she opens her shop and starts selling chocolates, some people uh, go to her shops and enjoy her chocolates and befriends her. And uh, meanwhile, there are also people who still regards her with some kind of um, prejudice and uh, suspicion, especially the, the town's priest, um, Father Reynaud. And so this priest, actually views her as um, someone who brings some kind of disruption to this town because not only she is an outsider she also brings a daughter so apparently she does she, you know she does not um, you know uh, because she does not have a husband with her um, her presence in this town just sort of feels somewhat you know her 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 family unit feels somewhat unconventional and so that was uh, kind of like a, um, you know, I, I suppose the priest would be uncomfortable with that as well. 
and the fact that she is selling chocolate which to the priest represents some kind of um, sinful indulgence um, totally against with the kind of uh, lifestyle uh, stricter lifestyle that the priest would advocate uh, for the townspeople uh, but uh, one of the bigger uh, plot points in this novel is that later in this book, uh, a group of uh, nomadic people who arrives in Lanskane Sultan uh, by boat, um, they are kind of like outsiders as well. And uh, many people in the town actually sort of uh, displays their aversion towards the arrival of this group of people. And uh, the the plot of the story, um, aside from dealing with how Vian Rocher deals with the priest and also various townspeople who either like or dislike her, um, you know, part of the plot of this novel also deals with how the townspeople deal with uh, this this band of uh, nomadic people who arrives in uh, Lonskane Sultan, and how Vian Rocher is involved in uh you know with these uh this this band of individuals as well so um it is quite interesting because um for me uh one of the biggest um uh biggest uh, draw of this book is that um it is very sim it is a very simple story and the writing style is not something that is uh, very complicated, you know, sentences are really simple, um, but at the same time, it, the main theme of this novel is definitely about um, xenophobia and also racism, and I feel that the story that is trying to convey, it feels very um, straightforward, um, and, you know, it, it's not something that uh, you need to think very deeply about. You know, you can just uh, simply read this book and just kind of enjoy it like that. And um, another element of this book is definitely the, um, I would say, magical... It, for me, it's not exactly magical realism, but, it's, uh, but I would say a lot of promotional material surrounding this book would use that word. Um, but there is a bit of magical element as well in this book, especially when it comes to um, how uh, Vian uh, prepares a chocolate and apparently she has this uncanny ability to read people uh, to determine what their favorite uh, chocolate is, uh, what's the right kind of chocolate for them that would uh, immediately sort of um, not exactly solve the problem but at least touch them, you know, the kinds of chocolate, the right kind of chocolate that would touch their soul or something like that. And um, many characters in this book, uh, when recommended with certain kinds of chocolate and given that chocolate, they would, they would have that particular, um, I would say, positive effect on, on their personality. And, you know, I think it really reminds me of other, other books in, in which the main characters prepare some kind of food and the food would actually cause other characters to feel certain way like you know like like water for chocolate and uh, also one book that i read uh, a while ago uh, it's a japanese book by uh, ito ogawa the um, the restaurant of love regain so um so yeah uh, this is definitely um you know if if uh, if you are interested in the kind of story in which uh, the character just sort of cooks something and um, you know is able to convey magic through that you know cookery, it's <laughs> I think that's a pretty specific interest. <laughs> um, it is something that I am you know it is definitely something that I am interested in. I like that kind of plot point. Um, this book is definitely for you. Um, also, I was reading this book when I was um, uh, not not really like um, having the best amount of focus and attention. And because the writing style of this book was uh, simple, I was able to read it. And I also realized that um, 
you know, some books simply uh, do not require uh, a high level of scrutiny and uh, analysis. Uh, I'm the kind of person who likes to analyze books as I read because um, it's just something that I do for fun. I think um, I think it, you know, it it sort of just happened that way after I took some random uh, literature class when I was <laughs> in a classes when I was uh, in college. But um, it was also something that I enjoy while reading. But sometimes if I do that with uh, certain books, it would not work because certain books simply have, you know, too many things to nitpick and then you would end up not liking it. And I feel that this book is definitely one such example. Um, I would say uh, the characterization is probably not very in-depth, especially the priest. I, you know, if, if I were to like really scrutinize the priest's character, I would not feel satisfied because I feel like there is so much... Um, I've, I feel like there is so much lacking in the priest's character. I don't think that she, uh, you know, he has a lot of layers in his character, even though he is like the prime antagonistic force in this book. He's like the villain of this book, but he just comes across as this like really cartoonish, um, really stereotypical um, villain that, you know, uh, this this kind of character, this this evil religious leader kind of a character, which I feel that, you know, which I feel is quite uh, tired, uh, kind of like a tired trope. So, um, and also the way that this uh, this priest character, uh, you know, how you know the the kinds of uh, things that happen to him at the end of this book sort of like his comeuppance or you know something like that it feels really ridiculous and it just sort of um uh it, it doesn't add on to um who this priest is as a as a person and uh so yeah overall i have a lot of um things to say about this priest i don't think that uh, you know this priest character is very well written but if you are willing to let that slide, if you are willing to just see this book as, you know, just another um, relaxing book that you just, you know, could just enjoy, it's, uh, you know, for uh, for its storyline, I think it would it would probably work. Um, this book has this vibe of a Christmas movie. You know, it just feels that comfy. Um, it it kind of reminds me of one of those TV movie that I could watch uh, on a you know on a Sunday afternoon, you know for example. And I was actually surprised that it was actually made into a movie that was nominated for for the Oscars. So yeah, that that was interesting. Usually you know movies for the Oscars are kind of like I don't know depressing <laughs> or epic. Um, this this book has a lot of whimsical elements in it and it just you know it just felt so weird that you know this book was made into an Oscar nominated movie but um, anyway I guess uh, that's all uh, that's all I have to say about this book for now um, if you have read this book um, let me know how you liked it, whether you dislike it, whether you love it. I would love to know um, what are the things you like about it or uh, what are the thoughts you have about this book. So um, I'm curious to know. Uh, so uh, I guess that's it <laughs> for this video and I'll see you again in a different one. So until then, take care. Thanks for watching and bye.